Okay. Well, we are about ready. There we go. Everything looks good on that end. Let me swap it over. And I gotta get my phone going. Okay, that's all ready to go. Set that here. And let's get started. Okay. So last time, what did I get done? <laughs> I got a little, I got a lot of stuff done. Uh, hold on. Everything here was already taken care of. I checked that old town. All oh, right, I went to the cathedral ward. I tried going up to like the blood church area. Doors locked. Can't get in yet. Uh, I fully explored. The Unseen Village. We got through that whole area. Uh, went and defeated the electric dog thing. Because apparently I could have done that sooner, but I didn't. What are you doing, Molly? What are you doing? Your bone's over there. Your bone's over there. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah. Went through this. And we ended up at... Nightmare of Menses or Menesis and went through here. Uh, we defeated I don't remember his name, but he was running around and we had to trap him in a corner. It wasn't that hard, just a little annoying. Uh, and I think I got rid of the frenzy thing. So we're going back here. Molly, what are you doing? You're gonna get a bath tomorrow. Yeah, you are. Anyway. Okay, so... Yeah, the boss was over there. We already defeated him. He can run through mirrors. It was kind of annoying. I already... have taken care of the frenzy... the giant Sauron eye thing. Okay. Dogs being weird if you can hear, you know, it's just what it is. Uh I want to do this. I wonder Frenzy resistance, I think, is probably what I need to prioritize for a little bit. Just a little bit. Because we're dealing with a lot of the Cthulhu eye things. So I'm going to min-max the Frenzy Resistance. I guess I'm already wearing good resistance. Okay. Molly. You're fine. Alright. I'm going to go in here. We got to defeat this Cthulhu eye thing multiple times. Great. It's it's just building up. That's all it does. And I'm wasting my sedatives. Defeated you, but look. What a waste, because I didn't use my sedative in time. God. Frenzy is such an annoying status effect.
because it just constantly builds up. That's all it does. That's the annoying part about it. Once I kill the enemy, it still builds up. Or once I'm out of range, it still builds up. It's annoying. See, just in time. I used the side of just in time. If there's something else I'm missing about Frenzy, I wouldn't mind knowing. But... Oh, come on. I'm dead. And I can't buy more sedatives. What are you doing? Oh, so now you know how to roll over. But you can't do it on command. What, Molly, what? What do you want? Sorry, I, I guess my dog's being very needy. Are you being very needy, Molly? Are you being needy? Come on, off. I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. Up. Up. Come on. What, you want attention? Where's your ball? Where's your ball? Over there. Here's your ball. Go get your ball. Go get your ball. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm told because we already got through... Because we already get, got rid of the giant Sauron eye, I could probably just continue that way like normal, but I already started going through here. I might as well just try to finish exploring it. I think at this point I'm just gonna have to rely on potions. So I don't have enough sedatives. Took too much time. It, okay, so it keeps dropping quicksilver bullets. You okay? <laughs> Jeez, Molly. I don't know what she's doing. Okay. It keeps dropping Quicksilver bullets. So it makes me wonder if I should be... Uh... If I should be shooting it or something. But I don't really have enough time to swap. Okay, we're trying it. Oh, come on. Okay, as far as I can tell, Quicksilver Bullets don't do anything to it. <laughs> okay, whatever. Because if they constantly drop bullets, it makes me think that I'm supposed to do something with them. Wait, no. What is that BS? Apparently, when I got hit by Frenzy after I died, so it affected my HP now. That is stupid. 
Oh, I am freaking clipping that. That was stupid. I'm restocking my potions. Set this back up. I guess, I think just my original, my original way going through is probably just better. Just hit it with a hammer and then sedative or heal up. I wish I could just buy more sedatives. It makes me wonder if I can fight a different boss so then I could buy sedatives and then come back here. Just to make that run through a little bit better. What, it already spot me? Look at this. I'm doing nothing. I'm hiding behind cover. It's not, It never actually found me. And it just kept building up. I really hate the status effect. Is it? Okay, that is working. At this point, I'm waiting for die down. If I could save potions, I'm going to save potions. Now, I already know I could use bolt paper on these things. Actually. And I could buy bolt paper. Two, three, four. It's still the same amount. It is still the same amount of damage. <clears throat> and I, if I remember correctly, when I fought Legion and I was told to use Bolt Paper, I was doing the same amount of damage as well. Or, I think I was only dealing a little bit more. So, I think it's just because, as of now, this is an arcane weapon. So it's basing on my arcane damage. And since my arcane is pretty low, it actually doesn't change all that much. Like, this would be great if... It, it would be great if it was just an elemental weakness stacked on top of my uh, of my uh, physical weapon, but it's still a physical attack. But it seems like it changes my weapon to arcane. Spiders. Got most of my health back. Oh. You snuck up on me. drop something. Bullets. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so if I remember correctly, this got rid of the Eye of Sauron, which was up there apparently, and it fell into the pit. Now I go down here. This is where I basically died last time. I have to cross. Oh, are you kidding me? There's a spider down here? Two spiders? Well, sorry. Oh, and they're normal spiders. They don't even have, like, normal the, the faces like the other ones. Okay. But that room is where I got to. The farthest I got to. I could fight Alfred. I still might be too weak against him, though, but I could fight Alfred. I don't know if I'll get any benefit from doing that. Probably I will, but... But I could do that. Yep, there we go. Waste two potions. Two potions per Cthulhu eye brain thing. Okay, you're just gonna move this way. I mean, I don't know how useful that would be in this situation. Can I sneak up on you? No! I can't sneak up because I guess the idea is once you get to, once you just get so close to the the brain thing i'm guessing like any of the eyes spot you it just immediately knows you're there So it, it, it kind of feels like that the brain, the eye brain thing, just you can't sneak up on it. That's what it seems like. There's got to be something else to it, though. Oh, come on. I'm already spotted. Am I going to get affected by Frenzy? No. That's a good sign. Can I lock onto a spider? Kind of wish I could just aim this thing. Fine. Whatever. Okay, hold on. 
I might be able to just stand here. Yeah, I'm able to stand here and wait for Frenzy to end. Again. I'm just going to wait it out. Get rid of these spiders just so I'm not dealing with them anymore. Okay, hey, good. Oh, right at the limit. Time to wait this out. There's a beam right there. I'm gonna wait for Frenzy to die down. Luckily, the brain is gonna walk away. Up. Yep. I either need to take it more slowly or I have to be able to walk in a straight line. And that's kind of difficult to do sometimes. I don't know. It seems like sometimes uh, the game won't just won't walk in a straight line. Like it's very sensitive or something. Or it takes like any of the smallest inputs. It's like. Yeah, like any minor change to the control stick kind of radically changes the direction you're going. Like it's a little weird. I don't know. If only I could use the D-pad for that section. But I guess I just need to take it a little bit slowly. I could try throwing in a cocktail at the brain. I don't think it works, though. Oh, I missed. Well, I'm not getting my stuff back. This is going great. I mean, I beat the lift to the floor. I was racing it, clearly. That's what I was doing. Uh. Yes, I will take back all zero of my blood echoes. I was really missing it. I was really upset that I couldn't have got those back. There we go. Okay. Still need to figure out how to deal with the woman with the bell. Still haven't found the bell yet. Okay. I don't even know if I, there's a blood gem that reduces frenzy. There might be. But if there is, it might not be one that I can put on the, either of these weapons. chase after me? Okay. 
Talk to you first. Yeah, I'm gonna need a potion. And get rid of you. Potion up. And eh, that'll be good. That should cover it. I'll drop back down. If only I could get a good, uh... Yeah, I wanna hide here. Right here, before the spiders. Yep, in this case, wait for Frenzy. Let's see if Frenzy activates or not. Okay, I think I can safely heal. Yes, I... It knows that I'm here. I need you to move away from that spot. Thank you. Oh, nope. Never mind. It just kind of took a step over to the right. Try to get a better view, I guess. Can you, can you move? Can you leave? I don't want to deal with you. And I already know cocktails aren't really going to help me. Can you leave? Oh my god. Are you seriously gonna make me... This is gonna activate, isn't it? Yep. So stupid. Fine. I'll run over to the other side. Just gonna have to eat the hit. Okay, and then I'm gonna eat this final hit. I have wasted so many potions just getting back here to find some treasure. Choir bell. What does that do? Uh, is it a key item? Where is it? Choir bell, where are you? Um, okay. Tool for the choir, high-ranking high -ranking members of the church. Fashioned after a bell that projects an arcane sound across planes of existence, the sound of this smaller silver version of the bell does not cross planes, but grants vigor and healing to all co cooperators. So it's a magic weapon, an arcane based weapon, a limited use. So it sounds like if you want to be the bard in multiplayer, that's what this is for. That's what it sounds like it's for. Or if not the bard, just like the white mage. That's a good thing I grabbed it. Okay, is that all that's here? Yeah, I think so. Okay. 
to go back through here and we end up where do we end up okay a new a new section I haven't been to yet great one's wisdom great one's wisdom I keep thinking something's gonna spawn. I think I'm just stepping on the bones. Great one's wisdom. Great one's wisdom. Okay. Anything over here? Nope. Okay. I'm not seeing anything. Admin's knowledge. How's it going? Did I find the blood rock? No. I found the choir's bell. I'm basically at the bit. I'm where you're at in the base game. I'm fast. Yeah, I should ask. Like, how how fast am I getting through this game? I can I check like how many hours I'm in right now? But no, I picked up. I picked up the choir bell. That was in the treasure chest behind that uh, brain enemy when I died uh, yesterday. Took me a few, took me like half an hour to get back there and actually get it, but you know, you just missed me getting it. Open this door. That was the iron door key. Okay. Are, oh, are we back here? We're back here. Okay. So I can loop back. Okay, I already know that there's something else if I go downstairs. I didn't fully go down there. Oh, come on. Perfect. Yeah, I'm just heading back to the lamp. Going pretty quick. Even with the backtracking and getting lost in random directions, you're still doing very well. Oh, that's good to know. That is good to know. Uh, so I know we. Oh, by the way, before I uh, before continue on the conversation, I kind of have a hard cutoff point today. Uh, we're only going to be streaming for about three hours. I got. I got yard work to do because it's going to rain soon. It's been a while and it gets dark very quickly now. <laughs> so I got to get it done and I'm, and I have to do that early. One because it gets dark soon, sooner than normal and two I got I'm meeting up with family later. So, I got to do all that. So yeah, basically a hard cutoff point at like 3 hours for today. It is what it is. Can I power up? Not really. I guess I'll just... I'll just leave it as is. Yeah, it is what it is. This week is kind of... Uh, starting from... Yeah, basically all this week was basically really... Bu is busy for me. Like yesterday... Wait. Actually, no, like Tuesday... Yesterday, today, tomorrow, I'm busy. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> this week kind of sucks for me. Anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm getting endurance to level 31st. By the way, you said the brain enemies are weak to electricity. Well, I used bolt paper on my hammer. 
And it still ends up being a four hit KO no matter what. And I think that's because it's not adding that element to my physical attacks. It's changing my physical weapon to an arcane based weapon. And since my strength is so much stronger than my arcane, that I was doing more or less the same amount of damage. Farewell, good hunter. And I think that, and I think the same thing was happening with when I fought Legion. Although, I, I think I noticed like an extra 100 damage when I was fighting Legion when I had Bolt Paper. Uh, but it really didn't change all that much. So I think that's what's actually happening. It's just changing my physical weapon to an arcane based weapon. And so at that point, it's based on your arcane stats. By the way... Uh, so yesterday we were talking about maybe I mi apparently I missed some bosses and we were talking about maybe pointing me in the right direction to fight those missing bosses that I skipped. Uh how uh, what what do I need to do to be able to start buying sedatives in the shop? Because I only have two left. And I clearly need them if I want to fight those brain enemies again. Or if I have to fight them again. Oh, I can buy these for 20. Huh. And I guess you get 7. Good to know. Hey, Sydney. How's it going? Happy Friday. Those guys are weak to poison. They have high magic defenses. Oh, good to know. I thought you told me they were weak to electricity. But either way, I wouldn't mind knowing uh, what I need to do to be able to start buying sedatives. I already leveled up. All right, time to go back. Man, what's going on, Sydney? Apparently, I'm making good progress in Bloodborne. How's the game going? Yeah, it's going pretty good. I'm pretty... I, I'm pretty far in, and apparently it's going pretty quickly. Haven't touched the DLC just yet. Still haven't found my way there. Uh, Kingdom Hearts level 1 runs have been harder than this. <laughs> At least for a base game. So that should tell you something. Going to continue moving on through... This section normally and see what I'm missing. Uh. Get out of here. Not much just chilling around. Very nice, very nice. Monoto is going to hit two birds with one stone, so so where the missing bosses are, we'll also have the badge to buy setters. Okay, that's good to know. We can, we can do that. I'll probably still run through the rest of the section first, maybe. And then maybe we'll go do that, unless we kind of hit a wall. But yeah, we'll keep that in mind. Unless I have to fight more of those brain enemies, you know. Because so if, if I have to deal with them, I, I really need extra sedatives. Alright. Ganon's here. I don't know why he's here, but if this is a dream, then I guess that explains why he's here. Because everything's fake. Or is this one of those cases where you die in the dream and you die for real? I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Just notice I ha now have more than 100. Yeah, I am slowly progressing. That is very useful. It is, all it is very nice to now finally, after so many years, finally make it past the 100 follower mark. My uh, my growth has been very slow, but that's also probably due to most of the games I tend to play. 
tend to not be that popular. Oh, great. That's that's a lot of Ganons. Um, I don't like that. But they didn't spot me. That's nice. They're just patrolling right now. Go back to the saw blade. I think I can sneak up on you. Technically, yes, but I'm the main character, so I never die. Exactly. You know, you just always respawn back at your last checkpoint. You just change the outcome of reality. You just go into an alternate timeline where you didn't die. Oh, okay. That didn't work. I mean, you have many eyes, so... Okay, let's see. Hmm. 400. That's a lot of damage. Oh, thought you were going to charge past me. I missed. Come on, let's go. One down. Ow. Okay, Ganon killed me. This is like Twilight Princess. Oh great, I'm being called. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta take this call. Yeah, sorry about that. I I did say I have a hard cut off at for three hour stream today. I got stuff that I have to do. Am I dead again? Oh, come on. I'm wasting potions. It is kind of funny that, you know, you fight certain bosses, and then they basically just become normal enemies a little bit later. It is kind of funny. And then again, a lot of games do that. And this is just basically the Shadows of Yarnum. Just have to fight them multiple times, and they just got easier. Or I should say, I got stronger, so they became easier. Dark Souls 1 does that a lot. I. Yeah, it's a common uh, design tactic. What, what was once a boss becomes a normal enemy. And it's not as hard because now you're so strong. That you could take it out like a normal enemy. That happens in a lot of games. Mostly RPGs. I think. Why didn't the visceral attack activate? Was it because he was on the high ground? I think he had the high ground. That's why the visceral attack didn't work. I already checked that way. Isn't there a doorway over here? Grab that. 
Great. Okay. Both spot me. Okay, I'm kind of trapped in a corner, but that kind of worked out in my favor. Ah, the hammer just... The normal hits from the ha uh, the hammer stagger it. That's good to know. Yeah, it doesn't activate if I'm on a different height. Dang it! He had the high ground! That was his advantage. <laughs> this is why you gotta listen to Obi-Wan. He knows the he knows how to fight. He had the high ground. This is this is why we gotta just remember his teachings. Oh great. Shadow, more shadows of Yarnum again. There is four of them. Can I Lure one over. I think if I... No, I can't use the pebble just yet. At this point, I gotta walk slowly. Oh, you're turning around. Never mind. Well, I gotta wait a minute. There's no way I'm dealing with all four of them at the same time. I'll wait for one to turn around, then I'll... Oh, never mind. They spot me. I don't know how, but they did. Okay. Come on. There we go. So close. There we go. Potions. That's nice. One left. Now, of course, it's the mage. One hit will do. You see, you missed because you had the high ground. We weren't at the same elevation. Sometimes the high ground will be your downfall. Hi there. Do you have the bell? Are you the one ringing it? I mean, she's not... She's not doing anything. I could just leave her alone. I'm pretty sure I, could, I, I can uh, just end her, though. That works, but... I don't know. She, she's just minding her own business. Oh, look. Treasure. Pastor, for an easier comeback to this area, yeah, I'm guessing this is where it goes to the elevator. Yeah, there it is. Let's make sure we get this opened. Now we head back up. A bell ringing woman rings a sinister bell. Well, I don't see a bell on her. I think she's just kind of staring at the building and just kind of laughing like a crazy person. She's not doing anything. I, I, I think we can leave her be. What do we got in here? Another elevator. Okay. Take a look, see what's going on. Must be pretty funny up here. I'm expecting laughs. Okay, what do we got? 
This is a weird design. Murgro's wet nurse. Okay, well. Can I took the charge? Probably not. She keeps moving. So maybe just quick hits? She wasn't really getting staggered, but quick hits seem to be the better way to go. So far, this isn't going that bad. Ow. Get out. Get out of there. attack. It's kind of difficult to get the charge shot going. It takes too long. Is there a gem that speeds up the charge up time? Oh, you can teleport. Honestly, not as annoying as I thought it would be. Uh, well, the teleport anyway. Okay, phase two. Yep, phase two. She made it darker. Oh, she's cloning herself. I did not catch that. I did not catch that was actually what was happening. Or ones that increase damage. Yeah, I don't know about like slow uh, shortening the charge up. Because if that was the case, I could get a lot more of these charges in. Phase one of the fight wasn't that bad. Phase two, the fact that she clones herself is kind of annoying. Yeah, increased charge damage. Yeah, that's different. I'm assuming the Sinister Bell is caused by the Wet Nurse. Or just past the Wet Nurse. Oh, oops. <laughs> And for some reason, I thought the elevator was uh, all the way down. No, that is not the case. That's me being stupid, not paying attention. Sinister Bell is the PvP stuff. Oh, really? That's all? It's, it's just for PvP? I thought it had to do with, like, uh, an enemy that just constantly, like, summons other enemies until you get rid of her. Oh, it means I'm going to be invaded soon. I didn't realize that's what it meant. And you said this area is like a constant PvP area. Yes, all zero of my blood echoes. I wanted that back. Now, I won't fall off into the pit this time. Let's try this again. 
Uh, let's go ahead and grab cocktails. Again, phase one is okay, actually. Hold on. I don't know if the lantern's gonna help me, but it might help in phase two. I should have dodged past her. Ow. Yeah, if you move forward, definitely can't get a charge in. That's for sure. There we go. I don't know. Oh, you're teleporting. But I got hidden. Oh, no. You're setting up phase two. Maybe it's not phase two. Maybe it's something else. You know what? Maybe it's just an attack she can do. Not necessarily phase two, because this seemed to activate it a lot sooner. Okay, I, again, I have no clue how to stop this. This is just a thing that is happening. Okay, got past that move. At least for now, should probably do it again. see if I can do it. Perfect. Okay, that was me attacking when I should have dodged first. Teleport. Where are you going? There you are. Charge shot? Yeah! Oh, come on. I gotta get, I gotta get some hits in there, come on. Okay, I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Right. Yeah, I gotta lure her away from the wall. Done. Second try. Wait. Nope. Wait a minute. This is a fake out. This is a fake out. It's an attack she can do. This attack can be tricky to navigate through, but it's not impossible to dodge until she ends the attack. It... Oh, Nightmare Slain. That took a while. I thought there was going to be another phase. Might as well take the time to level up. That was the second to last boss? Damn. This is going pretty quickly. Oh, fantastic. 
Everything's on fire. But why, though? I mean, it doesn't seem to matter. I mean, everything's on fire, but I guess I don't really care. Foot of the great Let tree. Become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. All right. Can I level up anything else? Yep. There we go. Farewell, good hunter. Okay, now it's time to either finish the final base bosses I've missed or get going on the DLC. Uh, let's go ahead and focus on. Uh, the base bosses before going to the you know I I did that little battle a little too soon I usually set that for when uh, the ads actually playing so I'm gonna do another battle freebie um okay I think we should handle some of the base game bosses before going into the dlc the upper cathedral order i'm gonna need access to that when i'm in late game i can i can access the key to get there yeah thank you i i don't know where that key is but when i checked there yesterday i'm like oh let's see what's explored there there must be a reason why i couldn't and i was missing the key so yeah i need to figure out where that key is um also before before that if I go back here, is there more to, uh, is there something quick to explore and get an item or something? Like just past the boss or something? Or does that lead to the final area? Or is it a dead end? Basically, I just want to know if I need to go back and grab something before moving on. I also had, like, the fire dog thing for this thing. But honestly, these just feel like extra challenges just for fun. They, that might not really add to much, so. Okay. So do I need to make a quick stop back at the wet nurse's linarium to grab an item or something? gonna go ahead and I'm pretty sure there's nothing I can buy and nothing really important blood rocks okay that must be to get like a level 10 weapon or something I could check the wet nurse area and talk to the crime bait. Okay. I'll go back there very quick. So it's, it sounds like there's like a thing to check there. Because we're at endgame, I wanted to make sure. I wanted to double check. Because I don't know if going forward leads to the final boss in this case. Check the wet nurse area and talk to the crying lady. Oh, this is all just a dead end? Oh, I thought there was more to explore here? Never mind. But yeah, uh, let me go ahead and talk to the lady. And she's gone. Okay. I guess that's all it was. <laughs> Alright. 
Never mind. Okay, now I'll go back. So, Yahargul's Chapel. And then go backwards and explore there for a ledge to far fall off and to enter a building. Uh, let me see. Oh, in here. Okay. Hey, uh, TJ, how's it going? Uh, it's going pretty good. We just defeated the wet nurse. And apparently that was the second to the final boss. So right now, uh, apparently I missed some bosses in the base game. Two more hours of work till the weekend. Very nice. I got about two more hours of stream. Left. I have to cut off early because I got stuff to do. And I gotta get, get it done before it's dark. So, yeah. So, that's kind of annoying, but yeah. Uh, yeah. It is what it is. So, I need to go... Ch go backwards and explore there for a ledge to far off and enter a building. Okay. The final boss... Or the last challenge, but I don't know. Which bosses have I beaten so far? Uh, it might be faster to uh, to say which bosses I haven't beaten. And I wouldn't know. Uh, I wouldn't know which ones I haven't beaten. Uh, I, have, I have not done the DLC just yet, though. I guess that's an easy thing to bring up. Am I dead? Of course I'm dead. We're... Have I found any big secrets yet? Uh, I don't know. Right now, we're trying to get the, get a key that leads to... Uh, mind if you say... I'm not sure. I don't know how big of the secrets these would be, Hot Corn Dog. I mean, you could also just probably private message him. I'm not sure. That's the problem. I'm just not sure. Upper Cathedral. Yeah, I'm, g I'm trying to head to the Upper Cathedral. But I need the key for it. And I need to get past these enemies. Might have been faster just to go to the... Might have been faster just to go to the first uh, lamp. And take the shortcut. Okay. I passed some of these enemies. The missing bosses. Oh, mind if you say. Oh, go right ahead. Okay. Since I could have fought them before, and I just happened to miss them. Prerequisite to each other most of the time. Yeah, for sure. So, Hawkorn Dog, you're saying somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere in this section. There's a ledge I need to fall off and enter a building. Again, I am not sure if that is in this section or if I need to go farther back. All just to find a key. over here and there's someone throwing Molotovs at me all right okay I'm pretty warm right now okay so I'm in the Kinda in the right area. 
So I'm told I need to fall off the edge. And of course, there's enemies kind of in the way. So I'm just gotta... Just gotta keep my eye out. It's kind of hard to focus with all these enemies, though. To be fair. Oh, I didn't even see that. That's my stuff. Okay. Huh, I'm guessing, yeah, they're constantly respawning. Oh my god. Freaking chill. Is this it? Yep, yeah, okay. I think. I oh, hey. Heal up. Yeah, I think I found it. Get out of here. Yeah, it was kind of hard to focus when I was getting attacked by every enemy and they just kept respawning. That was getting annoying. Oh, it's in here. Oh, this room. And then we go in here. There's the upper cathedral key. Okay, I was wondering how to get in here. There we go. Okay, now we can head back to the cathedral. What would be the fastest route? Oh yeah, thank you. Sometimes I forget about this stuff. You think you've only shot like seven bullets in total? Or I've only shot seven bullets in total? Uh, I shot a little bit more than that, but yeah, it's a it's a low number. <laughs> I have barely used the gun, and I should use the gun more. But to me, a lot of the attacks that look like they could be parried aren't obvious. And you know what? If if it's something where it's something I need to learn uh, and uh, mess around with. I can't. Can I level up? Yes, I know. Go to the tree. I don't know what tree you're talking about. But go to the tree. And I can't level up. Okay. Double checking. It's reward. The counterattack is satisfying on the few times I've actually utilized it. But most of the time, I can't tell on the attacks they're going that could be countered. It just seems like a lot of experimentation that I need to actually utilize. Secret below where I'm about to go. And the guns only run pretty much. Oh. The Lady of the Night's not here anymore. The nun's still here. She's going nuts. You've gone nuts. What do you say? Okay, you say the same thing. Double checking. Alright, time to head up here. Oh, she's in the sewers? Why is she in the sewers? I mean, we could check there later. 
like after going through this section and checking the upper cathedral I wonder why she's in the sewers Yeah, the healing church, that's what it is. I don't know why I keep calling it like the blood church or something. Motion. Bullets. Okay. By the way, I last stream I went I went down this section to check that old air uh I don't know what you call it, like old town area. And I like full I got to fully explore it and there's like nothing there. Unless I missed something. But it was just a very small section. I didn't really find much. But I tried to dodge. There we go. I think you have potions. Yeah, you do. Well, not the actual sewers, but to where... There's another section there. I gotta fall down the right route. You know, I'll find another area of the sewers. Oh, okay. Bullets? Yeah, bullets. Okay. Now we can finally make it in here. And to be honest, when you said I missed the key, I thought it was like in a early game area or something. No, like you have to get pretty far in the game to get access to this place. Okay, the choir. I've heard rumors of the choir. Yeah, this is probably an area I would have had to look up information on how to get here. Because I would not have found that key. Even though I remembered that... I remember that s section? Oh, hey, these guys are back. They just moved here. Is this uh, time to use the hammer? Oh. Okay. Trying to find that once I'm done entering the upper upper cathedral ward. Are you saying find uh, go into the sewers before I'm done with the cathedral ward, or uh, or just after I'm done with that section? Ah, oh, this sucks. Didn't get a lantern, so I gotta run all the way back. I wonder if I can run through and just kind of ignore everything. I mean, I have pretty good stamina. Oh. I need to get rid of some of these guys. You know what? Use a potion. Restock. Head up. No. 
that one area where I said I didn't have much things going on. The back area where you find a bunch of wooded beams and I have to fall down the bellum carefully. Yeah, that area. So there's a section I missed, basically, if I head down there. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that place in mind, and maybe we'll head there soon. Unless I need to go there before completing this area. There's a door while going down if I go down the right path. Oh, okay. I must have missed it. Granted, it was very difficult to see. Okay, so someone was shooting at me. At least I thought someone was. Get out! Get out! Okay. Yeah, the hammer staggers you. There we go. Yeah, well, oh, there's a lantern. Okay. I'm going to continue on for a bit. Try to see what's up ahead. But do you... I, I, I think your wording was a little bit confusing to me. Do I need to go down to that lower area before completing this area? Or am I fine with going back there? Once I'm done exploring. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Check this way. Come on, freaking lock on. Actually, you know what? Let me check to see how much damage this hammer does. Might be a one-hit kill. I don't have to. I could go back there when I'm done exploring. Okay, good. Just double-checking. I was a little bit confused by your wording. Okay, so I could go upstairs. But let me go ahead and explore. I keep thinking these are now one-hit KOs, because I'm like, oh, I fought them in the first area, but no, they scale up on the area. If only the ravens were a different color, or something. My RPG brain just has trained me. Oh, if it's the same enemy type in the later area, you know it's stronger because it's, a, it's red instead of blue or something. For you once it spoils the location, so I'll only say it's somewhere in there. So I just need to look for a door during uh, the section where I need to drop down. I'm just going to have to keep an eye out. He's like, it's over, Scoutbot. I have the high ground. Except you spent too much time pointing at me. That now I have the high ground. Choir garb. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be useful, but hey. Rainbow Crow is the toughest crow variant. Yeah, exactly. You know it's tough because it... 
it has all the color variants of the previous forms, so you know it's the best of all of them. Madman's knowledge. It does not open from the side, but I can see the enemy over there. Can't do shit, though. Is that the Kuthu thing? Oh, oh my god! Where the hell did you come from? Get out of here. Seriously, though, where did he show up? Did he just burst through there? He might have. Okay, let's go through here. Go downstairs. Bolt damage, fire damage. Again, that's arcane. Honestly, I, I don't know if it would actually make that much of a difference. I see. Oh, God. Although, I think it does matter if I have a serrated weapon and I make an arcane weapon for fire damage. Because now the double weakness outputs the fact that I'm basing on magic. There we go. This area is dark. You can't see shit. What do we have here? Can I stagger you? Yes. There we go. What do we got? Cosmic Eye Watcher's Badge. Is that a... Oh, yeah, it is. I can buy stuff now. Next Bloodborne game takes place in Paris. <coughs> Didn't this game sell well? I'm pretty sure it did. <clears throat> so, why did they not make a Bloodborne 2? Or is it one of those things that will be explained when I beat the game? Uh, <clears throat> then after that, D Detroit. <laughs> it got Game of the Year. Uh, I don't... I think in Europe it did. Because there is a Game of the Year edition, but not in America. Because I would have bought that version. But the Game of the Year edition is a European copy. And I'm guessing this game lost to something else. In, for, like, the American Awards or something. Or it just never got a reprint for a Game of the Year in America. I don't... Sony doesn't like Bloodborne? I guess that might be the reason that they don't want a sequel. They just don't like it. It's locked. Okay. There's another enemy. I can hear it. Probably upstairs, though. I don't know if I missed anything in this section. Hey, Lord Jefferson, how's it going? 
By the way, Lord Jefferson, I have a hard cut off of three of a three hour stream. I got stuff to do. So just letting you know. I got yeah, I got like I gotta basically do yard work and then a medium for family later. And I gotta get that yard work done, one before the family meetup, and two before it gets dark. But uh Lord Jefferson, you missed me defeating the wet nurse. And we are now, I guess, trying to... F uh, we are now in the upper cathedral area. Okay, there's, an, there's somewhere else. <clears throat> and we're just kind of going after bosses I missed. And then whenever I'm done with that, we'll do DLC. That's so far the plan. I didn't... <sighs> So when I went back to find that brain area that you told me to get at the end of the area. <clears throat> sorry. Oh, jeez. Hold on. I don't remember finding a, like, a uh, bloodstone or something. I did find a choir bell. I did find that. But I don't remember finding the power-up material. I missed something. There was a spot that I missed in here somewhere. Maybe a door? <clears throat> Maybe I need to explore somewhere else. I could go the other way. Okay, I, that door is locked. I need a key. This way was the little hallway. What else am I missing? Really wish this chandelier was here. Okay, I think I need to backtrack because I'm not I'm not seeing where I need to go. <clears throat> okay, I'll put that on the other tab on my laptop to look at. Okay. I'll put that on another YouTube tab. Maybe we'll clear that out a little later. Okay, I'm... I'm uh, not sure where I need to go. Okay. Oh, wait, can I? Yeah, close by a device on the other side, and I probably need to open the door... That I need, like, a key. That was on the inside. But I think I need to take a different route. But yeah, I defeated the wet nurse. She took me two tries. Honestly, she wasn't that bad. I probably could have beaten her first try, but... She Shadow Chrome Jutsu me and, like, made the area super dark so I couldn't see. We got a great lake, and this was a dead end. We worry about plus 10 until the DLC or final bosses, right? Links are fine as long as they are appropriate. Yeah. Usually, like, I'm okay with links be, like, kind of well relevant to whatever we're talking about. Uh, okay. I clear I'm clearly missing something in that room. Just double check and see if there was something over here. And I did check this way. There's a bunch of crows. Is there a door or something that I missed? 
No, this is kind of, this is just dead end. I'm gonna go back in that room. This is just a way to fall back down if you want. Okay, nothing. Did I go to the bus? Yeah, she did move. I did see that she moved. I am told that she has moved to a new section in the sewers, so we'll, we can go and find her. Uh, I am told about... Instead of going up to the, the upper cathedral, I go back down to that old town section. Apparently, I missed a door, and it was hard to see on the drop down, so I can go back and do that. I have a few options. Does not open from this side. Okay. I can't crawl th through there. This is kind of a dead end. Uh, that's the way back. This is just a ledge that's not going to do anything for me. I wish I could just light lamps in the area. But no. I have to deal with advanced darkness. can't open this door, not from the side. While going down, there's a door. There's no door at the bottom that you missed. Yeah, uh... Yeah, you said on the way down, there's a door that I missed. Okay. Throw a pebble? Are you talking about the weird creature at the other door? Or are you referring to something else? Hold on. Is that something I actually have to do? Or maybe I'm misthinking. I don't know. I'm willing to check anything. Open door does not open from the side. If I throw a pebble, I got plenty. Yeah, it does nothing. Okay, so I'm just overthinking. That's fine. I'm just overthinking. Okay. And again, that door's locked. There doesn't seem to be another way around down here. Nothing. It's just a bunch of dead bodies. If I go straight ahead, we can reach the door. But it's locked. I'm missing a key. What am I missing? Yeah, I'm lost. Who, <laughs> my dude? Let's see. Check back in here. Kind of just nothing. Is there another little hallway like this on the other side? Maybe I missed that. There's a hidden path somewhere. Oh, this must be it. Okay. Let me take a look through, just in case. There we go. With some chunk. Oh, fantastic. stupid statue. There we go. Okay, we found the way to a ladder. There we go. Making progress. Okay, 
just double checking back here, nothing. Through here, we got this little ghoul. Oh great, you grabbed. Come on, let go. What? Oh, come on. Am I dead? I should have healed. Am I dead? I'm dead. Damn it. Yeah. That thing's giving crazy head right now. <laughs> now I have to go back through. But at least I know where I need to go. I'm not going to stumble my way through. Doing bolt damage, not normal damage. Yeah, you are right. And I think I still have bolt paper. Let's get past. Get rid of these mooks. Well, that's the thing. Those enemies, I could stagger them if I actually hit them with my hammer. With just normal, uh, regular short, uh, quick hits. So they're not that bad. I just, I guess I wasn't quick enough. If they start attacking, then, you know, they, they have super armor. Uh, great. Same thing again. I'll heal first. Oh, I couldn't get away! I couldn't get away. I literally tried. I was mashing dodge. Thanks, game. Thanks for that BS. That was just a combo I couldn't get out of. That was stupid. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. I will use my bolt paper. At least I can buy it. Oh, whoops. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, most most of their health goes away if I do this. Just a little bit more strength would have done the trick. Parry them so much I learned how to parry them just so you could kill them. Right. They added those they're back in Elden Ring. Oh my god. So wait, it those enemies, are they only in Bloodborne and Elden Ring? Give me my stuff. Get out of here. I guess the electricity is like stunning him enough. I believe there are wolves. Up. Back away, heal up. Uh, get. Come on! Yeah, fine. Whatever, dude. I'm trapped in a corner. I can't dodge roll. Because you caught me in a pincer. Come on, poor blood. Isn't there one more? 
Okay, there isn't one more. It's hard to tell with all the dead bodies. There's one. Still takes a lot of hits. Let me make sure I get into the secret pathway. All right. That might make a difference. At least in Elden Ring, they stay dead here. Not so much. Yeah, I guess they can respawn. So we kind of brought up that Bloodborne did get Game of the Year, at least. It got a Game of the Year edition in Europe. Oh my god. All right, I forgot about ya. Oh my god! I forgot about this one. Come on. I think he could have killed me. So, if in Europe, Bloodborne got a game of the year, why did in America? Is it because a different game got a game of the year edition I can I'm wondering why because the Batman Arkham games other than the final one constantly got game of the year editions and those are the better versions cuz they already have the DLC in are you kidding me one hit away I missed because I hit the wall There we go. That was almost bullshit right there. That man's knowledge. Blindfold cap. Okay. Don't think Souls games really blew up until Elden Ring. They had a cult following before. But people really jumped on the hype train after Elden Ring. Well, that's the thing, though. That doesn't matter if it's a Game of the Year thing. Because you don't need to sell well to get Game of the Year. We know they're kind of bought and paid for. But... If El that's what I guess what I'm trying to get at is if Bloodborne got a game of the year, even if it was only in Europe, why didn't it get a game of the year in America? Do they have just separate awards? Actually, they probably have separate award shows, don't they? That probably makes sense. Wasn't it nominated though? In twenty fifteen, at least in America? I'm not sure. What did what game in twenty fifteen got game of the year? Oh, great, there's two. Okay, I'm captured. We got a key. Okay, we're good. Uh, let's see. It might have been a nominee. The Witcher 3 got Game of the Year in 2015? I guess that would make sense. I guess follow-up question, then. Is there a game that was just a nominee, did not win, but got a, I guess it wouldn't be game of the year, but a definitive edition that basically just does the same ye same thing as a game of the year edition. Basically just a re-release with all the DLC packed on it. I mean, I know we see definitive editions. What is the point of Is that all this is for? Okay. And I believe I could go to the door downstairs. Right. 
that wolf. Dark Souls 3 has that, where it has a definitive edition uh, instead of a game of the year. Uh, okay. So, what year did Dark Souls 3 come out? And I'm assuming it was nominated for Game of the Year, right? But it didn't win. What did it lose to? So we got a shortcut. Yeah, Witcher 3 was really popular. I didn't play it, but I know it was popular. I guess that can make sense. Again, I, I never paid too much attention to, like, award shows. It's, like, e like, even the game awards, I, I don't care. Because I already know they're bought and paid for, and I don't care and don't pay too much attention. But I think in this case, it's kind of relevant to what we're talking about. Gold Sick Awards awarded Dark Souls 3 in 2016, Game of the Year. Overwatch won Game of the Year back in 2016. That's right, there are technically multiple award shows. I don't know which ones they actually count. But I guess if it wins a single one, depending on which one, they could just say it's Game of the Year. Whatever Game of the Year actually means. <laughs> But, uh, oh, great. Boss fight. I mean, kind of obvious. We got aliens. At least they stagger okay. Yeah, they stagger okay with just my normal. Oh, okay. There's a main one that summons mooks that look exactly like the real one. So it's a game of find the real one while getting rid of the other mooks. Oh, and he's bigger. Never mind. I guess we're in phase two. Come on. Uh, okay. Man, you deal a lot of damage. So wait, so does Dark Souls have Dark Souls 3? Does it have a game of the year edition or does it have a definitive edition? It technically won the Gold Stick Awards, but Overwatch won Game of the Year from probably a different uh, award show. So I'm curious, does Dark Souls 3 call it Game of the Year or not? Okay, and Sobley worked okay until we got to Phase 2. Yeah, it's like a 2 hit KO if I use the bolt paper. Maybe we could go with the hammer with bolt paper. It's a little bit slower, but maybe it's a 1-hit KO. I'll test out the bolt paper.
I don't know why I bothered checking. No, it's still a two-hit KO. Come on. And my attacks are just slower. Okay. I think in this case, I need to go with the saw blade. At least for the first form. For faster attacks. I better go grab my stuff. Two. Oh great! I need, I need to back away. The constant summoning of mooks. Okay, I guess it's more of a three-hit KO. I'm done with bolts. Oh! Kind of trapped in the corner. Easy! Communion. Am Was I overpowered for this? It's called it's it's called the Fire Fades edition. Okay, so it's basically a definitive edition. Even though it won a award, but I guess that's not the main award show. I guess so they couldn't call it game of the year. But it serves the same purpose. I keep forgetting I can power up my freaking guns. There we go. Okay, what was the thing that I just got? Communion. Max vials. Plus four. Didn't I get another one? Bolt damage. Great leg. Oh, wait. All damage reduction is a 4%. That's interesting. You could be a boost your general defenses or you could be more specific. Okay. More items, temporary boost, temporary boost. Okay. How are things, Mons? Things are going good, Mons Eye. Uh apparently I beat the secret to final secret, the second to final boss and I'm currently Go, uh, going to older areas and fighting bosses that I missed. But how's it going on your end, Monzai? Again, I'm only going to be streaming for about another hour. I got a hard. I got stuff I have to do. Can we buy the one? You know what? I am going to do like one set of this. Buy more bolt paper. Maybe two. Stomach doing backflips, so... N oh, that sucks. Go back to the alien dudes at Rhea. I will do that. I will go back there. I just wanted to make sure to uh, heal up, I guess. Because I don't know what's up ahead, I could accidentally die and lose everything, lose progress, so I just don't really... 
I, I just don't know what's up ahead. That's mostly it. And I think I might only need to do that once. Five old paper. Playing Kingdom Hearts on your oh, on your Steam Deck. Very nice. Any game not on Steam outside of grinding Forest Stream. Right, right. Uh, I'm assuming you're playing Kingdom Hearts 1. Are you just doing a basic playthrough or are you doing... Uh, are, are you just playing it for fun? Oh, I could buy sedatives. Should definitely do. I should definitely buy a lot of those. Or buy what I can. Maybe do more. A little bit more grinding on that later. I want. This. Upper 50 reward. I want this one. Basic playthrough of one. Very cool. Never played through... Oh, you never played through Kingdom Hearts? You've seen playthroughs of them, so you never... So you know the plot, but never played them myself. They're pretty fun. Even if the plot of Kingdom Hearts 1 is kind of stupid. When you actually break it down. Of why, like, you have a... Why you're kind of doing the things you're doing. But gameplay-wise, they're, they're still fun. I can easily recommend them. The story can be, uh... The story it exists and will probably not be for everyone, but I can still recommend them as just fun games. Well, most of them anyway. Chain of Memories is a hidden miss. Okay. I probably need to go through there, but I'm just taking a quick look around in here just in case. Okay, there's probably nothing in here. I'm just double checking. Okay. What do we got? Nothing. Okay, wait a minute. Deep Jungle is backtracking. It is. It is. But at least, like, the first half, it doesn't... Uh, there's, like, no enemies to fight. A lot of trouble with Cerberus and Wonderland boss. Meanwhile, you beat Deep Jungle boss and Cloud first try. I'm surprised with... I remember having a lot of trouble with the Deep Jungle boss like the first time I played. Actually, I had a lot of trouble with Cerberus too when I was a kid. Uh, but at least you should have Cure now. So that helps. Okay, apparently there's something else in here. But there's a lot of cool details about Kingdom Hearts 1 Manzai that you may find out if you do things differently in multiple playthroughs. Because cutscenes can change depending on what order you do things. Or if you don't do certain things at all. So that's kind of cool. There's a lot of little details like that in Kingdom Hearts 1. Like, you could tell they put a lot of effort in. Okay, what am I missing in this area? What am I missing? There's a window I could break? You mean that one? I could break through it? Okay, let me check. thought it was a door. I could break through this. Ah, okay. Is this the only time you can break through a window? Or has it happened before? Thought we got rid of the main source. Oh well. Is there more in this section? Probably not. What do we got here? A call beyond. What does that do? Is that even in this section? Right, I got two of these. Uh, call beyond. One of the secret rites of the choir 
Long ago, the healing church used phant phantasms to reach a lofty plane of darkness, but failed to make contact with the outer reaches of the cosmos. The rite failed to achieve its intended purpose, but instead created a small exploding star, now a powerful part of the choir's arsenal. At times, failure is the mother of invention. Oh, wow, I was reading that description and a new uh, alien popped up. Okay. It's a good thing he didn't spot me and attack me. Just focus on Clayton and spam thunder when, when you could. Okay. It's more of the second phase when you're fighting stealth sneak. Because you're just fighting two guys at once, you know. And All right. Uh, that's the only time you break through a window? Yeah, my brain just kind of be like, why would I think I could do that? I've never done it before. Never had to break through a window before in this game. It's nice seeing that tar nice seeing the Tarzan world. Can't wait to see it revisited in later games, just like the rest of the worlds. <laughs> do we tell them? Altar of Despair. Jeez, one boss fight to another. Right next to each other. At least I'm assuming that's what this is. At least this isn't poison water. To be fair, you practice a lot with the three on one fight back at Destiny Islands. Much harder than the Riku fight. That is true. It is true. Alright. I'm assuming you're weak to thunder. And I can get cheap shot in. Or, you know, we just activate the fight. Daughter of the Cosmos. Ebrietus? Okay. Oh, that's not annoying at all. Mon Chacha. That's a lot of damage. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, you're doing something. You have the power of light. Okay. That wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. I'm not sure uh, that would, would be a way to hike Kingdom Hearts 4. Have deep jungle return. Yeah, that would be... And, and you just tell the one of the sequel stories. What was it? The Tarzan Jane movie? That's all you do. <laughs> and that's all they do with it. They could afford it. I, I don't think it's a matter of whether or not they could afford to do Tarzan again. I think it's more of whether or not the Edgar Wright's Burroughs uh, family wants to let Disney have it again. Sword with poke types are more effective, I think. Huh. Okay, I guess I should ask, is it weak to electricity? Or was I just assuming? It is. Okay, so I had the right idea. But that's the thing. You saw how much damage I was doing with my hammer. But yeah, Monsai, you know what's very jarring about that whole Tarzan situation? If you decide to play Chain, Mem Chain of Memories, and that game is all about basically revisiting Sora's memories, aka the worlds he's been to before, like, you know, his memories again. And, uh, 
you go to every world in that was in Kingdom Hearts 1 as like a weird revisit condensed version of each one but except for Tarzan that's the only one you don't get to go back to <laughs> try my sword with the thrust oh you're saying use the silver sword like the actual sword part of it I I never actually used this the sword it's always because I felt like the saw blade did more damage and it just seemed like it was faster. Or if not faster, then it was about the same. Let's see if I can get my stuff back. Okay. Oh. Come on. And then thrust. Let me try it again. Five hundred and twenty three damage. Five hundred twenty three damage with a sword uh, thrust. You know, I got to four hundred and thirty six. Okay, that didn't work out. I just couldn't get in a good groove there. If they did bring back Nomura, they would 100% try to explain it. Yeah, you know they would. It's like, but that's the thing. Because Sora doesn't remember Chain of Memories at all, even if they try to explain why they didn't go to his memories of Deep Jungle, Back in Chain of Memories. He doesn't even remember the events of that game, so there wouldn't need to be an explanation. <laughs> Besides, it was all in his head anyway. Come on. There we go. So I was doing about 400 to 500 damage with the sword thrust when I actually, you know, managed to get a hit in. Keep that in mind. 400 to 500 damage. And where's my stuff? There it is. Of course, right next to her. And we are looking at... 802. I think you can see that I'm doing way more damage with a full charge shot of the hammer. Like an extra four, 300 to 400 damage. Oh, that was a crit. That was a crit. She's activating... I think she activated a drain. Like a sap. Oh, right. Light pillars. Okay, I gotta dodge that more correctly. Yeah, I was doing a lot more damage with... Uh, I was doing a lot more damage with just the charge shot for the hammer. Now, to be fair, they might actually be doing the same amount of damage normally, or about close to close together. But if you look, uh, I have an extra fifty points of damage on blunt attacks. Organization stole all but one memory, which was taken by the master of masters, who secretly was deep 
in deep jungle disguised as Kerchak, who transferred his mind into a human named Maid, erasing his memories and storing them with Sora, only as only a memory, a human memory, and a memory of a noble beast can open the box. But then he was captured by the organization, specifically by Xemnas, who knew the secret this whole time. And that's why they really needed Sora in Dream Drop Distance. Kerchak is Demix. Yeah, uh, you exaggerate, Monzai, but knowing Kingdom Hearts, a, a plot point like that, it could be just as stupid to work. That's how stupid Kingdom Hearts gets. Sometimes. You exaggerate only ever so slightly. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I gotta dodge those light pillar things. Other than that, doing pretty good. But yeah, I bet if I used my hammer and had the kind of that the attacks evenly distributed, they probably just would do about the same amount of damage. It used a Disney character in the lore that's not Maleficent or any of the Mickey crew. That is true. That is a good point. That is a good point. Disney doesn't really want their actual Disney characters actually being a part of the main plot. Because Square Enix wanted you to have more party members than Donald and Goofy to travel between worlds. So, like, when you're in Deep Jungle, you recruit Tarzan, and he's a permanent party member that joins you throughout the other, throughout the rest of the adventure. That's what they wanted to do. Then you recruit Aladdin, and he joins throughout the rest of the adventure. But Disney's like, no, they have to stay within their same worlds. Let's be honest, Disney is the fun police. But then again... Nothing has changed over the years. Oh. I thought that was going to be some weird, like, charge at me, and it would have been perfect for me to use my gun if I wasn't using my hammer. That's the one drawback about using the hammer. Even if I wanted to test out using the parry, I have to swap modes or swap weapons just to utilize that. He's gonna use the light pillar soon. Ah, uh, dang it. I didn't even die to that. Two light pillars. Only reason. I'm getting there. Like, I'm. I just need to. It's not that bad. This fight's not that bad. Probably will need to go back to Hunter's Dream and buy some more bolt paper, though. You know what I should do? I should check to see how much damage I deal without the electricity. And see if it's actually making that much of a difference. That would be a good test. We could try that. See how much damage improvement my 14 arcane compares to my 30 strength. Right. 
top my HP off. Let's go ahead and grab my echoes, which I see it. Alright, let's see how much. I deal way more damage without Bolt. Look at that. Unless that was just a weird uh, quick crit. Nope. Nope, I deal a ton more damage. Elemental weaknesses? Who needs it? I am losing damage by adding Bolt to my weapon. This is why I don't listen to chat about adding fire or electricity to my weapon. Because I, I don't need it. Clearly. Oh, is that Frenzy? Yeah, that's Frenzy. I survived that. Almost didn't, though. I was going to say, I'm about to take damage to Frenzy, but no, not yet. I'm good. That looked like an attack I could parry. And I'm dead. paper or gems. <laughs> yeah, uh... I don't know. I don't really know. But clearly I was dealing way more damage without the bolt paper. So you know what I am going to do? I'm gonna buy a bunch of sedatives. Because I didn't realize that boss was gonna set frenzy on me. I need to go this way, have that set up. We'll use about, I don't know, two or three Bold Hunter's Marks. Restock on sedatives, maybe some Bolt Paper, I don't know. I bet you if I boosted up my Arcane, bolt, uh, setting up the Bolt Paper would be great. It would be amazing, maybe. If it's, I'm assuming this boss is weak to it, like you say. Uh, but clearly, I don't need it. I'm too strong. Yeah, well, we'll use about two or three Bold Hunter's Marks. Yeah, I didn't realize Frenzy was even a factor during that fight. There's that. I'm going to set up one more. We'll get one more set and then I'm going to buy stuff. You're about to fight the orphan. Which one's the orphan? Did I did I fight the orphan? I don't even know.
Oh, wait, is that the Legion enemy? I kept calling Legion. No, that was Reawakened 1, I believe. Oh, DLC? Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and buy as many of these as possible. 72. That's a lot. You know what, hold on. Let me go ahead and restock my... My bolt hunters back to how it was. Not that it really matters. And then everything into this. There we go. Now we'll have sedatives. Let's try this again. Now, since I could buy sedatives, if I have to deal with those brain things again, won't be as bad. So, at Heart, Hot Corn Dog, you said you're doing an arcane run. Are you trying to use weapons that specifically already have uh, elemental damage, like as the base form, or are you spamming stuff like bolt paper? And that counts as a. Uh, I'm sorry, an arcane run. Like, in your r rules, are you allowed to use the saw blade, but only if you set up bolt paper or fire paper first? Or even just the cor corresponding blood gem? Oh. Let's get this started. Where's my stuff? There it is. Good. Lock onto the body, not the head. Come on. Stop. There we go. Get behind. Oh no, I want you to get away from that. From the wall. Nope. No, don't. Don't puke blood on me. I guess that's how I was getting affected by Frenzy. Oh, I, I missed my timing. Dang it. Because I wasn't lined up correctly. See, if I get too close, that's when I'm getting this drain. Get out of here. Easy. Great is Chalice. Uh, it's an arcane strength run. Using whatever gets boosted by the arcane stat. Got it. So you can use the hammer as long as you either use a gem or bolt paper, basically, if you wanted to. Do nothing. Uh, I guess I have to come back later with 
uh, a specific item. All right. So we got a chalice. And uh, we're going to leave and come back. Might as well see if I can level up. I can buy Sedas. We uh, got the chalice. So I got about... I got about half an hour left. Caught my Uber yet. I, I don't know what you mean. Yes, German wakes me of the tree. Yeah, I get it. Let me boost this. Farewell, good hunter. Yeah, oh, you mean for Castle Kanehurst. Yeah, I got that all taken care of. Although, I can fight Alfred. That's the only thing left I need to do over there. Molly, what are you doing? Okay. Um, I'm going back, and I think the fastest route to the lower area is to actually just do the normal Cathedral Ward. Then we'll take the elevator up. One below Upper Cathedral. We're going to head there now. Because apparently I missed a door on the way down. Come on, load. Too bad there's no other way to get to the lower area, but I need to be dropping down anyway, so that doesn't matter. But yeah, it kind of sucks that this is the only way that we could get to that lower town section that I don't know what it's called. There is an elevator up to another area, but it's a one-way elevator, basically. Okay, so Molly, what are you doing? You're being weird. So you're saying there's a door I missed and I don't need to move that far. Oh my god, I don't know why I lost control there. Where is this door? I just don't know how far down I need to go. It's almost directly under the entrance to the left. So wait a minute. To the left. Let's see if I can find it. Not. Not really seeing this door. Wait, that little platform right there? No. Okay, dude, there's like a, a bunch of tiny pieces of wood. But are you saying I should try to go over this way where I'm currently facing? Basically up against that wall where the candle is and land there. To the right side. Oh, yeah, okay. So I need to somehow land down there. Right there, maybe? You and me. Okay, well, I guess I could drop down. And I missed it, but I landed here. That might be too far down. I think that's too far down. Yeah, okay, I'm, I think I missed it. Wait, no, is that it? Oh, that's it. Okay. There we go. 
Yeah, I... I would have known this. Abandoned old workshop. Okay. Wait. Wait a minute. This is just Hunter's Dream. But there's treasure here. Doll hat. Oh, the... Okay. Old Hunter Bone. Was that me? Small hair ornament. One third. So we have all three. An abandoned doll. Okay. Hunter's Dream is based on a real spot. Interesting. Is there anything else around here that I'm missing? So this is just a little secret area to get, like, new outfits, basically. Backtrack from the Cathedral Lord down to Father Gas area. I'll find Lady of the Night. Right, I guess we'll do that. Dolls index. Okay, hold on. There doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let me go and check. Let me go and check. Okay. So you're saying her index. If I look at it with the. Wait, is there a. Uh... I didn't mean to do that. Is there a uh, first person mono cure? Is that a uh, what is that? Oh, this monocular. I don't know. Okay, I was blanking. Oh, okay. I never mess around with this. Why did I pronounce it monocular? So you're saying index finger twitches when I look at it. Do I have to be looking directly at it? Is it also this one? Is it this one? Nothing seems to be happening. Uh... Is it this one? Oh, yep, there we go. I saw it move. Okay. What am I doing? Can I... How do I get out of here? Oh, did I miss something? Use it again? Oh, right. Okay. I don't know why I didn't try that. Okay. So, we found Hunter's dream. Except it wasn't a dream. It was the real world. Is there like a little pathway here that was... I guess that would have been right there. Or right here. I didn't actually explore this section. Actually, that's a good point. I didn't explore this. Oh, you've been here the entire time. Good hunter. You've done well. Oh, wait. The night is near. That's w that. Okay, fine. Okay. I'm. Talk to him under the tree. That's what it meant. Okay. Back in the way. I just realized what was happening.
I just, because, <laughs> because I saw that section early on. I'm like, oh, I'll explore it later, and then I forgot. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. So, first, I was told about going back to where we fought. Okay, hold on. Come on, let me read some of this. Hold on. Cathedral Ward, down back to Father Gascone area. We're going to do that. Once I realize, oh, wait, that's under the tree. No, get out of there. Get out of there. Because I didn't know, I didn't realize where she was telling me to go. Like, I didn't know where this tree was because I didn't explore this place. So once I realized, oh, wait, no, that's under the tree. That's plot. Move away. Yeah. And I can see all of you freaking out. <laughs> okay. Backtrack. Over here. Oh, she's down here. Oh. And she's gone insane. <laughs> Does she say anything else? Nope. So, that looks similar to the little creatures I was fighting. I can what? I Or just attack with a sword. I don't have to. I have all three of the cords. Oh, that is dark. And she wait, she's dead too? That is dark. Oh, and we got our shoes. That is dark. But wait. We have four of these now. I didn't think there was more than three. Well, yeah, they seem to be very, they seem to be linked together. Eat them? Okay, I don't know what that actually did. And I wouldn't have guessed to actually use them. I thought just having them would be enough. In case something happens, you have one backup plan. Ah, okay. In case you screw something else up. Should I use all four or just three of them? So it doesn't matter with that final one. Now to DLC. Uh, okay. So we we fought these weird creatures before when in the uh in the upper cathedral area. Oh, all four. Okay. Okay. So. If I were to make assumptions on what's going on, so if I remember the notes, when the red moon uh, shows up, then, like, basically Virgin Mary's happened. But it seems like it's any woman that's still alive that can have a baby is forced to have this weird creature. And I guess they're linked 
together? Is that what's happening? Okay, well. I like to collect things, and it's funny to say it's four thirds right. Merjo's loft, middle first. Grab that ten, plus 10 before the BL, DLC. You have to make contact gesture too, though. Contact gesture? Contact. Oh, wait. Nope. Is there a uh, switch? There we go. Contact. This is all I have. Oh, make contact. There we go. Yeah, I have it. Okay, so I need to go back to that brain area. To get this plus 10. The holes in the floor. I, uh, I was sent a youtube video showing where this is so i'll probably take a quick glance at this i only have a little bit of time left so i'm gonna have to try to make this quick okay let me take a quick glance at this youtube video i was sent okay yeah go down there problem there We want middle. Okay, there are the spiders with the faces. Give me a sec, I'm uh, watching this. So we fall, no, we don't fall into the hole. We go to where we, oh no, he, this guy's flipping the switch, which I already did to drop the eye of Sauron. Now what are you doing? How much is left? Not much. Sorry. Uh, okay, he drops through, leaves the room, kind of ignores it. In this section, what's he doing? Oh, I didn't even see that. And is that the item? Okay. I see where we need to go. Yeah, I, I know where to go, uh, TJ. I was sent to Link... So I was just take, giving that a quick watch. So I know exactly where to go. And uh, since this shouldn't take too much time, How about we get the DLC opened, if it won't take that much time to open it up? Let's get it opened before I end stream. Maybe, because I only have about 10 minutes. YouTube video was just running past all, all of them. But when you have to deal with them right here, you might as well just get rid of it. Might have dropped. Yeah. 
going the long way? Well, this is the video I was shown. If there is a shorter way, I wasn't sure. I didn't know there was a shorter way. Run through here. Oh, is that where I dropped the... I don't know. Should be able to survive this fall. Yeah, this is where I dropped the ISR on. Okay. And there it is. Okay. Is there anything else here? Just a little... Okay. All right, are we good? Very sick and sorry. If that's it, then uh, let me go ahead and bold hunter's mark. That's not it? Okay, good thing I uh, waited a second. Just need to go to the base. Going the right way. Oh, this is. That's the giant spider. Okay. So you're saying there's still something else to look for? Oh, go back to Hunter's Dream. No, that's just powering up to 10. The room with the puppet guys and the executioner looking guy. Holes in the floor. Puppet guys and the executioner guy with the holes in the floor. Um, I don't... I don't remember. I honestly don't. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now I'm remembering. I think I'm going the right way. Another one? There is. I think it's this section. Okay. What do I need to do down here? There's a cage elevator near the second executioner. This one? I'm assuming you mean this one. Okay, good. I'm on the right track. Straight until I see the brain dude. I drop the floor. Oh, okay. Just go straight. Oh. Am I doing it right? Contact. Am I doing the right thing? Oh, hold it until my arms switch. Okay.
So eventually it's gonna swap, right? A full minute in that emote. Okay. Wasn't. Sh How would I know this? Why would I even guess this is what I would need to do? And this is the longest minute. No idea how anyone figured this out the first time. Truly a game, a game moment of this year. Exactly. There we go. Jeez, why do you need to wait so long? Moon. Is that one of these? More echoes from slain enemies. So it's a, it's a better one of these, I'm guessing? Best moon rune in the game. Very cool. Is that all that's here now? Are we done with this section? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head back. Let's see if we could get the DLC o opened up, if it's not gonna take that long, because I only have a couple minutes. If it won't take that long to open up, I kind of need to know right now. Yeah, I don't know how you're even supposed to figure that out. In the meantime, I might as well see if I can... Can I level up? Nope. Oh! Give small hair ornament. Something I never felt before. What's happening to me? <gasps> Tell me, Hunter. Could this be joy? <sighs> Tearstone. What does that do? Silver shiny tear stone used to change into a droplet blood gem that fortifies any weapon. A doll sheds neither blood nor tears, and thus its nature remains unknown. Whoever thinks this is precious must be troubled by severe naivete. Alright. I am going to... Bloodborne DLC. Might have to type in how to open up. How to access. Interact with the skull. Visit Hunter's Dream. Receive the Eye of a Blood Hunter from the Messenger. I got that. Cathedral Ward, take the left exit, enter the square. And set the... Let the lesser... I mean, go, go, grab you and transport to the Hunter's Nightmare. So I, wait. Okay. So, return. Take the left exit. Head to the far right of the square. There doesn't seem to be anything here. So probably up there. Not seeing anything. Where the hunter set top hat is located, and the lesser Amy Dalla grabs me to transform me to the hunter's nightmare. 
Oh, wait, Hunter's Nightmare, is that... Is that in that Nightmare... Nightmare Far Plane or whatever? Walk fast travel to and from the Hunter's Nightmare via Awakening Headstone in the Hunter's Dream, located near the Insight Shop. Oh, okay. Lighting the lamp in the new area will allow me to tra travel to and from the area. Oh, okay, so we go here. And head to the far right of the square where the hunter set and top hat is located and a lesser army dollar. Where is that? Okay. You gotta head out. Uh, have a good rest of your day, TJ. I'm almost done, too. So there's a lesser army dollar. Okay, where is that at? Go back to the little corner in front of the cathedral ward where I was at. Okay, hold on. Oh, this thing? this thing and let it grab me right okay hold on do I need to stand over here no okay it involves this thing right so I need to stand in the right spot Oh wait, do I need to use the item? Or do I just need to have it? No. Okay. Sorry, I'm a little lost. Oh. Oh, right here. Okay. There we go. Just wasn't in the correct spot. Okay. And their children will rest in truth. It's easy to get to, but it's kind of... Why would you think to get grabbed by that thing? And I'm guessing he only grabs you as soon as you get the DLC item. DLC, not for tomorrow, for Monday. Because today's Friday, I don't stream on weekends. But yeah, let me make sure to get the lamp. Hunter's Nightmare. All right. Hunter's Dream is a good uh, safe spot. And if I read cor uh, correctly, yeah, there was the one area that also had me get grabbed but he I'm guessing he would only grab you if you had the item so this is how you get there hunter's nightmare okay this is a good spot I have to cut it sorry uh thanks for everyone who showed up today I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon pacific time kingdom hearts on Wednesday kingdom hearts 2 on Wednesdays the rest is bloodborne if you want to see the old streams that are not on twitch anymore they're on youtube at scottbot64 stream archives Seems like we're almost done, but we're going to start tackling the DLC next time. Anyway, uh, that sounds about it. Have a good day. Later.